everyone and welcome to today's little demonstration. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to explain why you need that eraser. So this is my little box of erasers, it's in a big unit. And I've got a multitude of different types. We've got the Tombow Mono Eraser. That's really good for fine detail work on colour pencil, pencil. Then we've got the standard Nice Day Blue and White Eraser. And this one comes in handy for, it's meant to be ink and uh, pencil. Never really got a ink to erase with an eraser. Uh, these ones are quite hard. Ow. Um, so quite sturdy, not much flexibility, but a lot of people sharpen these down with knives to get really fine edges. So they're quite good if you if you don't have a Tombow, uh, a much sturdier razor will do the job if you just very carefully trim it round. Um, there's my refills. Um, yes, I've got batteries mixed in here as well. I've got uh, my refills. These are kind of silicone rubbers and these go with my electric razor. So these are pretty good. Oh, I didn't realise the packet was open. Apparently they're free range as well. Uh, I tend to buy mine all in bulk in case the makes that I use run out or stop trading. And then cheap office eraser, very cheap. Uh, these ones you get so much grey on the top. It's like, hmm. I think. Very dirty. Uh, nightmare to keep clean. You have to keep on rubbing them onto white paper to keep them clean. And then amongst this lot, got banners. <laughs> I mean, the banner ones. Oh my god. Uh, this banner eraser, this started off as a normal kind of soft, cheap eraser. It's now. It's actually. It's, um, yeah, it's uh, gone hard. That's something you got to remember with erasers and rubbers and whatever you call them. Um, after so many years, they will degrade and you get different results. So with this banner one, uh, office supply, it's now a brick. It should hypothetically work, but the problem will be that there'll be a lot of dust and stuff off of that. Uh, some of the more rubbery ones, I mean, this is about, this one's same, yeah, it's about the same time. Um, still squirgy, so some of them retain their squirginess, others go like bricks. Now in here, oh, okay. this is my old, one of my old putty rubbers. Um, after so many years of using a putty rubber, they do dry out. You can add a little bit of moisture to them and it does reactivate but after so many years they stop working it's that simple so you have to replace and the thing with putty rubbers is you warm from your hand and the moisture in your hands helps keep them going and it helps clean them and such so um, also if you're working on something that's got your hands sweating needed ball razor is quite handy for just drying your hands off but these guys these guys go off as well so I would say don't bother going out and buying the big doobras like this yeah I got a bargain I got a bargain so the this doobra this is big one large putty eraser um, and I have seen bigger ones but that's that's the size of that one so that's pretty big and this one this was a smaller size but there's no point in buying a big one like this because by the time you get around to using it, it's going to go off. Because the bigger they are, the harder they are to erase and you do get different grades of putty rubber as well. So it's better off buying a small one or a couple of small ones and using them to say one for charcoal, one for pencil, one for colour pencil, you know. Or if you're going to buy a big one, chop it up. But store them very carefully. Uh, this one I've probably had about three years. It's hanging in there. It's still got a little bit of softness to it. So kind of flat, flat. 
Now I should have, oh, there we go. So you do get different grades. Daly and Roni do all these different types. So they do them as uh, firm, medium, or something. What's there? Yeah, soft, firm. So you can get different grades of putty rubber, which is absolutely brilliant because you get the different effects with them. But they both says needleable. So that's what you're looking for is whatever it is you want it need needed. Hang on. Hey with me. I haven't actually opened these ones yet. Yeah, I I have too many of these I already do. No. So Dev and Rennie, this is the soft. Oh, that's soft. It's quite bouncy. Got a bit about it. It's not as puttyish like this one that I've been using for quite a while. Even though these are the same type of razor, that that's this is how this one started off. So chunky, firm, bit of give. I'm just confused because this one feels. I mean, it says firm. This is time. Okay, yeah, as firm as a brick. Uh, this is a yeah. May, maybe I've had this a wee wee bit too long. Um, it's very powdery, um, very brick like. Um, but it it does say in a in a wee 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 small print needed ball. Um. Oh god, okay. I'm not puny people. I physically can't break that. I'm gonna need a sledgehammer. Um so <laughs> I think this is a good demonstration of when a putty rubber goes bad. So this is meant to be a firm but kneadable rubber and um it's a mini brick. If I got loads of these I could build a little house. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that's gone off. That smells pretty bad in the box. Uh, with putty rubbers, I never really noticed. Oh, that's based in Berkshire, where I come from. Uh, I've never actually noticed a, a use by date on them. So, uh, cool. I've got a min mini brick instead of a mirage. That's um, that could be fun. So that one's gonna. I have to think about that. Uh, so yeah, so when you've got kneadable razors, don't do kind of, don't just let them sit and stew and think, oh, I'll use it later. Oh, I'd, I'll save that for a certain project. I want that for this. I want that for that. Get using them because if you don't like this banner one, like this Dale Roni one, and you think that that's standard silicone rubber, that is a uh, putty rubber and that's gone like a brick so they do degrade and look um, I mean, I've i even got a silica gel packet in there to try and keep moisture levels controlled but this one's this one's pretty good oh god here's another one uh, these these were popular years and years ago um, they're like almost clear this has still got some good in it this one's by um Stadler, so darn good mag. Love their stuff. But uh, I used to collect rubbers as a child, or razors. I know some people think the word rubber is a rude word. Depends on where you come from, tomato, tomato, and all that. Um, no, I don't any of my originals anymore. I think they're all degraded. You used to be able to get them in words and cute animals and all sorts. Oh, that looks like another banner. Yeah, that's a banner. So there's another banner one. Uh, no, it's not breaking. So I've got two ultra hard, well, three bricks. And a couple of the others are starting to... Yeah, that one looks like that's... Oh yeah, there we go. That's turned into a brick, but I've just managed to snap that one. So it's really dry really dry and grainy 
not great. So it's going to be those ones are going to create a very powdery uh, effect. If that runs across the paper, that's just going to crumble and powder. So that's why I'm here to say if you've got these, use them, get the enjoyment out of them, get the practical effect, don't hoard them and keep them. So what I'm going to do is I've got a project coming up where I need putty rubbers. Mm, but this one's gone off. This one's gone the opposite way. This one's actually got too sticky. Don't tear that off. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a project where I'm going to be using charcoal. So what is the effect? These can be great stress balls, you know, when you're just like, Arr. but other times it's just like, oh my god, this hurts your hands. So I've got a kind of medium, soft, and softish here. And for this project that I'm going to be working in charcoal with, I want to do it on A1 paper. So I need a big eraser. So with putty rubbers, as long as they are roughly the same texture, you can quite often merge them together. And if they're not, then the harder one goes into the middle. There we go. And this is why I say you need to erase them. And I tend to keep all of my bits in little drawers. Uh, this one's holding out just about. And look. See, most of mine are old office supplies. But they do the job. When I, when I need something quick and I don't want to use one of my more expensive bits of equipment, old office supplies do the job and that's all I want. So now that I've got this one going, there is no way that is going to be any useful. I'm going to combine this eraser. So what I'm doing is I'm, right now I'm just creating a super eraser. And this is for this big, 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 big project. Now putty rubbers should have a little bit of, little bit of give. Not too much. Not like a uh, blue tack. You're not looking for a blue tack consistency with these ones. I mean, these ones are a little bit tacky. Because the idea is it sticks and pulls the graphite or the pencil off of the page. Get your mind out the gutter over there. But for bigger projects, you can make a much bigger eraser with a putty rubber than trying to use one of these and use the side of it. And also with the putty rubber, because you're constantly moving it, you're cleaning it with your hands, you're not having to stop and work on the paper and clean the edges off of these erasers. So putty rubber is really good in that sense. Right. Get some welly in here now. But the way I handle putty rubber when I get big ones is I treat them almost like dough. So really give them a darn good workout. So you can see the two ones from Smith's have merged in really nicely and the De La Romy in the middle because it's a different type it's just sat out. The Smith's cheaper ones are very blue tacky so you've got a lot of stretch. Very sticky. The De La Romy one is more chalky and breaks up much easier and it's got a rougher sandier texture. And each texture will give you a different effect with your artwork or whatever you're doing with them. And actually from the projects that I'm going to be doing, I want the two to be slightly mixed. Because I'm going to be making marks on paper. So you can see, the, in fact, the Daily and Rennie is being rejected almost by the Smiths one here. Um, so I'm going to be working in charcoal and I'm literally sh filling a sheet like this, probably bigger, um, of charcoal powder, then layering charcoal on. And then I'll come through with the eraser and I'll shape it. And that's why I love putty rubbers. You can shape it. If you want a point, you can get a point. If you want a kind of spade shape with that lovely flat edge, you can mould it into that edge. Just keep on rolling it, flatten it, roll it, flatten it. And you'll get a lovely 
actually you can make nice sharp cutting motions across the paper with if you want just a splurge you've got the manipulation you can have uh, I mean if you push it against the table or a flat surface squeeze a little bit you've got a flat razor you can twist and you can blot so you've got blotting motion if you stick it down onto the paper and twist you've got a lovely twisting motion and that will pick up any of that pencil graphite everything and if you're really really clever you can actually shape it into squares rectangles circles whatever you like and each time you mold it into a different shape you'll get a different effect so with me and this piece of charcoal that i'm going to be doing i'm going to be molding the eraser into multiple shapes even just even tumbling it across quite literally just kind of doing that across a page that's going to make marks because it's going to pick up different areas and it'll pick up different levels and depth so like i say if you're going to go for an eraser rubber whatever you call them don't go straight for one of these or one of these one of these or one of these the cheap and cheerful fine if you're doing something that it doesn't matter if it doesn't fully come off the page absolutely fine if you want to do a decent piece of artwork and want a good clean removal of marks or if you just want to make mark making by removing bits off of images get a putty rubber you need a putty rubber so i'm happily molding away i'm not going to merge that one in because they are slight i think that one's going to need a bit more extra care my brick my bricks hmm what to do with these i might use them but uh i might be able to use them for something hmm what to do with a driver got it right i'm gonna break these down into crumbs because that's all they pretty much are by the time i ate them yeah they're just that's just gonna go to crumbs um I'm gonna pretty much mash them up into a powder. I'm gonna mix that with glue and paint and use that as a texture. So I'm not throwing them away, I'm, I'm thinking outside the box. So that's what you have to do. And that would actually add a little bit of texture to an image. I'm not gonna dare use them to take anything off of a page because as I say, you're just gonna get crumbs. When it's hard and mouldy, it's an oldie. So that is nice and soft now. It's much better blended. Just takes a little bit of work. The texture itself feels better. And I can still pick out if I want to use certain parts, I can still pick out the different parts of the erasers. It's quite nice and warm as well. Good exercise for your hands. So before you do a drawing, if you want to do some hand exercises, but you don't want to do flowing movements with your wrists to loosen up your joints, this could be something that you could do. Just gently squeeze and pass from hand to hand and just get your wrists moving, get your fingers moving. And that can be a warm-up exercise if you really don't fancy doing a drawing sweeping page. I mean, I recommend definitely, please, do a couple of marks on a page. Even if you just get a pencil and just go da, 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 with it, that's fine. But this helps certainly supple up your joints. And if you've got arthritis, uh, this sort of exercise is recommended. But normally it's like with a, a putty stuff, a jelly slime putty that you can get from the hospitals. Right, enough blank for that. So how am I going to store this big, big eraser? 
I'm going to probably spritz a little tiny tiny spritz of water in the clear bag and just keep it in there might I'm not going to put tissue paper around it because it's too sticky these slightly cheaper ones are yeah it's got stickiness to it so um yeah there we go so it's a bit too sticky to put anything like tissue or paper or anything like that around so yeah a little baggy a little bit of water and then i'll just keep on working it and that should be absolutely ready for my project but if you want to go find detail and you don't think you can get the uh, shapes out of a large butter rubber then my option would be the tombow mono eraser these may seem a little bit expensive you can get them on amazon and other places i got mine off of amazon they're pretty quick and easy to use it's just a click and voila and inside the barrel it's just on a little rod and it's a tiny bit of silicon based rubber you can trim them into shapes if you want a sharper edge they don't last long long and uh, with these whenever you do like a long mark a bit like with this type of rubber this little silicon ones um once you get it dirty you need to just grab a piece of spare paper so it's do your raise mark and then swish swish take off that dirty bit do your raise mark maybe a couple marks swish swish take off just gently rub it onto a bit of clean paper preferably not the same on your drawing and that way you'll keep this end clean and you're not going to compromise the work that you're doing so i hope that's helped give you an idea of erasers rubbers whatever you call them and the differences that there are and also just be aware of how you're storing them uh, how old are they have you used them for a while is it the right type for you if you're doing fine detail work putty rubber as well as tombow is absolutely great you will get lovely detail with that if you're just doing quick drawings that you're not bothered too much about cheap and cheerful silicon won't kill anyone um but yeah try to avoid keeping them for long otherwise they will turn into bricks i kid you not and uh same applies to putty rubbers if you do not love your putty rubber and you use it believe me it uh it will literally well that beige on beige um <laughs> it will literally just turn into a solid brick so i've got a pile of bricks and i'll find a use for them probably will mix them with paint and i'll go and store these so hey that's all for me so till next time all the best and happy drawing to you all